the narcissist will always do this in the end. In the end, the narcissist will always devalue you. They will try to tear down your self-esteem because it's your self-esteem that protects you. It tells you you're better than that. It tells you that you deserve more. It reminds you of your value and worth. When they attack your self-esteem, it may make you want to fight back or you may begin to shut down. You may begin to identify with what they're saying to you. With who they want you to be. Which is why it's so dangerous to listen to their messages. Because it's not going to build you up and make you a better person. It's intended to break you down. In the end, the narcissist will always try to weaken you. They will blame you for everything. And they will act as though they're perfect. As though they're angels sent from God. As though they never did anything wrong. And you won't even be thinking about anything that they did wrong. Because they've already brainwashed you. To where you're unable to identify your own worth. Now you identify with whatever they're saying about you. Whatever they say about you becomes the truth. And by this point, they will always blame you. They will always say something is wrong with you. They have to do that if they're going to move on so that they can feel better about their decision. And so that it doesn't look bad to other people. But they don't consider that it actually looks very weird that they're always given the assessment. They're always telling you what's right and what's wrong as though they're the authority. But they have to do that to brainwash you into thinking you're less valuable than what you are. They want you to think you're not worth anything. They want you to think you're not about anything. So that you begin to look to them for your value. As though they're the only ones who can give that to you. Because that's what they've brainwashed you into thinking. The entire time that you've been with them which works very well for them because it keeps you under their spell it keeps you under their control where you're not good enough you're not worth enough they make themselves the judge the jury and the executioner they are the end all be all. They have the final say. 
they must be considered as something of the utmost importance as something essential and ultimate that determines who you are and what your value is so that you begin to look to them to validate your worth which keeps you holding on to them it keeps you chasing them while they're always running away because you're identifying with everything they've said about you with their value system which they've assigned to you so you don't even know what your worth is you don't even know how something of value is meant to be treated because you're just going off of what the narcissist is telling you is valuable which is why after a while they must target your self esteem they must break you down by not giving you any compliments or anything to make you feel like you're doing something good or right they must make you think that what you're doing isn't that special as though they could get the same or better treatment from somewhere else as though it's not worthy of their time and attention as though it's beneath their consideration because that's how they chip away at your self-esteem that's how they keep you under their control that's how they keep you under their spell thank you for watching I hope this video resonates with you please like comment share and subscribe if you would like to donate my PayPal link is in the video description coaching inquiries you can email me at coaching at arcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.